What's up guys, I'm Seth and today we are going to review and have an on-feet look of New Balance and the Meleon Doors latest sneaker collaboration, the P550 Basketball Oxfords. So if you're interested to see one of 2021's best sneaker releases that is not a Nike, a Jordan, an Adidas, or a Yeezy, then you should watch this video. Let's go! With Teddy Santis, ALB's founder and owner, being hailed as the new creative director for the New Balance Made in the USA line, we are going to see a lot more New Balance pairs with the same design and vibe as these ALD pairs that they have been releasing. So the ALD and New Balance partnership started with a 997 pair that they released last 2019. After its great success, they followed it up with a lot more different silhouettes, with this pair being their latest collaboration piece. This sneaker released in two colorways, one in a red and navy colorway, and this one in a cream yellow and that classic ALD green colorway. In my opinion, both are great colorways, but since I had to choose only one between the two, of course I had to go with this pair which is an ALD exclusive, making it more rare compared to the other pair. Now with all that out of the way, let's check out the design and details of this sneaker. So this pair is very similar to the OG ALD 550s that released last 2020. Originally, they released four colorways for this silhouette, and I actually reviewed the gray colorway on this channel. So for this video, we will just focus on the three main differences between this pair and the OG release. So the first difference is the color blocking. The OG colorways are more tonal, highlighting just one color per sneaker. On the other hand, for this release, they chose two colors that, in my opinion, really complements each other well. And they added hints of this grayish beige color all around the outsole as an accent to the other two colors. The next main difference is the insole print. On the OG pair, only the classic NB logo is printed on the insole. For this release, on the other hand, they included the slogan for this basketball-themed release which says, International Friendship Through Basketball. Then on the other insole, they also included the Ameleon Door logo that looks like an apple and a basketball at the same time. Lastly, and the most obvious difference, is the location of the perforations all over the sneaker. Previously, the perforations can only be found on the lateral leather panel of the sneaker. But for this release, they kinda changed it up and put it on the toe box area of the sneaker. In my opinion, it gives this release a more classic and refined look. Okay, so that's it for the main differences between the OG release and this latest release. Now let's move on to the sizing of this pair. So the sizing for this pair can be quite tricky. This silhouette has a very long toe box area and a narrow midfoot section. So for wide footers like me, I think true to size is the way to go. But if you have narrow feet, I think you can get away with going a half size down. For your reference, I am a size 9 slightly on the wider side and I got this pair in a size 9. Another point of reference is that I am a size 9 for silhouettes such as the 990 V5, the 990 V2, the 327s, the 997s, and the 827 Moving on to the quality of this sneaker. So I have always praised New Balance when it comes to the quality of the materials that they used for their sneakers. And although this is a made in China pair, I do think that they were still able to maintain the level of quality that I expect from a made in the USA pair. Lastly, talking about the comfort of this sneaker, so they have been using the same ortholite insole that they have been using for their very comfortable runners like the 990v5. And another sneaker that is using this same ortholite insole technology is the Yeezy 500 which is, in my opinion, 
or arguably one of the most comfortable Adidas sneakers without a Boost technology. So with all that being said, although this pair is designed in the 80s with comfort not being the main selling point of the sneaker, I do think that with the help of the Ortholite insole technology, it makes the sneaker more comfortable compared to other similar silhouettes like the Jordan 1 and the Nike Dunk. Now with all that out of the way, let's lace up these sneakers and check out how they look on feet. In my opinion, hiring Teddy Santis as their new creative director for the Made in the USA line is a very smart move for New Balance. This is similar to when Adidas hired Jerry Lorenzo to be the new creative director for Adidas Basketball and when Nike tapped Virgil Abloh to create the 10 collection which, as you may have witnessed through the years, has really pushed Nike to the top of the sneaker game. So let me know what you think of New Balance and the Melee on Door sneaker collaborations. Would you cop them or are they not too hype for you? Let me know in the comment section down below and I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Anyway, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload new content. Again, I am Seth. This has been Seth on Air and I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.